Hey everyone, before this video begins, I'm sorry that I've been away for so long. I swear I'll probably be making videos weekly from now on. Hey guys, welcome back to Can You Do Cubing. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to solve the 2x2. Two two. The first step to solving the 2x2 two two will to be making a first layer. This can be done with only using a few simple algorithms. The first thing we will want to do is to make a pair with the two white pieces. So here I have white and orange, and then also I have white and orange. So what I will want to do is I will want to move it so that these two here are like diagonally. So what I will want to do is I will want to perform D prime, R prime, D, R. This will get the two into their correct pl place. I will want to do the same with another piece. So I'll just rotate this down and try to find where the next piece here will be. And I got lucky and then the first layer is solved. Let me go scramble it up a little bit so then that doesn't happen. But yeah, I will want to rotate it so that this blue will be like that. And then I will then perform the same algorithm. D prime, R prime, D, R. And then the first layer is solved. I will do the same, but this here is now got on the green side, but it's on the left. So I will want to perform D, L, D prime, L prime. And there you go, there's the first layer solved. The second step to solving the 2x2 two two is to get the yellow layer completely oriented, or also known as OLL. There are three simple cases. The one where there is only one on the yellow layer, and then the rest are all on the side. Or if there's two on a diagonal or a vertical or horizontal line. Or if there are none on the top layer. I'll go through all of these in a sec. So let's start off with if there's only one piece on the top. You will want to perform an algorithm called soon. So this is R u r prime u r u2 r prime and you might have to do this once or twice to get the yellow layer oriented the second case is when there are only two on the top so what you will want to do is you will want to try find one that is on the left side that is on the side so you will want to perform the soon algorithm and then you will then be left with the one on the top you will then perform the soon algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and then you will then do this once or twice most likely it will be twice and there you go there's your right layer oriented and now for the case where there are no pieces on the top you will want to try find a piece that is on the left similarly to the one where there are two and you will want to perform the soon algorithm you will then be left with two and probably two on the side do the same thing as we did with the two and then you'll be left with the one on the top, then perform the soon algorithm again, if you didn't know what it is. R, U, R prime, U, R prime, U2, R prime. So yeah, then you will then perform it again, most likely twice. You might get a skip and you might have it once, but then there is your white layer oriented, yellow layer. We now move on to the final step, permuting last layer, or also known as PLL. So there are two simple cases for this. There is the case where there is a line on the yellow side and there is also the first layer fully oriented you this will only require you having to do one algorithm the first case you can get for this last layer is where there are two pieces that are connected so these are in the correct orientation so what you will want to do is you will want to have white facing the front and these two pieces on the bottom with yellow on the back so you will want to perform this algorithm r prime u r prime d2 r u prime r d2 r2 and then the piece will then the cube will be one or two moves away from being solved and there you go there's the cube solved the second and final case is when there are no pieces that are aligned together so what we want to want to do to solve this is you will want to get the right on the front and yellow on the back similarly to the first case so then you will want to perform the same algorithm And then there should be a piece that is aligned together. So yeah, then you will want to put those pieces on the back like you did with the first case and then perform the algorithm. And then boom, your cube should be solved. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe if you haven't already. Apart from that guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.